I got it in vivid mode. You can see it in on HDR. I got everything that we wrote. Uh, but if I want to go to more pictures, I like to go to this one right here. And I got this on True Motion. Let go right here. I got this on True Motion Black Pro. So I like have it as a pro mode motion and stuff. And just watching this on here. Uh it looks so well on him, like in really amazing. Uh the color pop out really well. So let me take you to another one real fast. Another one I like is when I want to lose my device for uh screen mirror. So let's do the screen mirror real fast. And I like to lose my uh phone as a screen mirror. So I gotta go right here and I gotta lose this device. Once this pop up, you gotta hit view. You gotta connect this. And then I wanna show you more features. So now I able to do her screen mirror on here with this device. And I want to really wanna show you. So I got a full size this. And now this is the screen mirror version of it. So now I got my own mouse that you can see that this vote with this. Right here, and I can fully control the uh, YouTube. Like, say I want to watch YouTube on here, I could jump straight onto YouTube on here, and I can literally watch a YouTube video on this device. So I could pop this up real fast and just jump straight on YouTube. Uh, with no hesitation, right here, I could go right here, uh, put this in 1080p, and I can't imagine having a sensor device. And full size in this. So I could literally watch this however I want. And this is a feature that I wish all phones could have. I wish each phone could literally do what this could do. And I think this is a proper example saying, hey, what type of device do you have? And what device will give you the best uh, revolution? So I could put this down. And just begin look so I could knock this down right here and I could live it jump on and let me watch live TV so say that I want to watch a TV application on here so I want to watch live TV on here so what I want to do is go right here my bad and call you a US a TV so I really enjoy having this device now the HDMI ports on it is 2.1 and with 2.1 it get you 4K and 120 hertz and you can literally watch some true 4K uh movies in 120 hertz and you can play games in 120 hertz. Another question that people need to know about this device, yes, this device have G Sync. Yes, device support G Sync. And I did my own week, so, so what I gotta do is show y'all that this device support Gene Sync. Let me go. Let me go back. Gene Sync. And we gotta look for Gene Sync. G. G Sync. G Sync. G Sync, and we gotta look for the LG. LG, and this is crazy because uh, most people not know that this could do G Sync on here, and this is the exact reason why uh, that most people didn't know about the G Sync uh, wing. So we got could go. Oh man, I mess up, guys. Let me redo this back over. Oh no, I didn't knock it down. I knock it small. <laughs> okay, so let go back right here. Let's full size this. Let's push this like this, and let's do this. Okay, so we got like move this. Once you move there, I can have full control over the mouse inside. So I really want to show you that uh, 
this device do support G-Sync, uh, G-Sync right there. And I'm, I'm looking for the, the Marina. Right here. So I went right here to the Marina and the Marina asked, uh, do this device support G-Sync? So uh, if your device is not list on here, that means your device do not support G-Sync. So once you get this low up right here, let me still up. This is my device right here. And once you go right here, Right here, this is my device. This is the name of my. You keep going for you say 4K. Yes, this support G Sync pattern. So yes, R4 support G Sync. Um, and I was really surprised to see that this TV do support G Sync on here. And then uh, if you read a little bit down, in like and ask you what TV do not support G Sync. So if you see a update and we say another way you can know about this and once you go here, you want to hit this. Now this will take you straight to the LG website. And once this take you straight into the LG website, right here, this Amazon guys, and tell you uh, what this feature have. So and tell you all the features Right here, two motion is 240 hertz uh, motion. Right here, give you a little bit more feature, a little bit more details. So you want to download the full specs, you go right here, and you can literally download the full specs if you want to. That's all right to you. You really want to download the full specs. So right here, um, it will give you the specs. And a whole bunch of people love this TV. You know this TV came out last year. This is still one of the best device that you should pick up in 2020. Yes, this is the uh, 90 series, 90 series. This is the model number right here. Right here, MS9000. Right here. So this is still one of the best <laughs> TV that you should pick up. Another reason why I have not picked up the latest version because they say the latest version took away a bit feature and you only could get 10 bit cutter, but you're not gonna get that true 140 hopes, uh, that true 120 hopes uh, video. So you're not gonna receive that on the next one. So uh, one a little trick of this, you have to shape this for you can bring up the mouse. That's something that I just found out about uh, just now. So I gotta shape this, go back up. Let me go back, and you can see that like screen mirror on here is asking This don't have no type of lag or anything. So uh, if you wanna know what GC is, this will make the Motion um, more smoother, and you want to see no, no tearing. So, right here, and we tell you right here about what you have it. So, yes, we know about the old apps TV habit right here, and tell you G Sync apparel. And then you got the other uh, voices right here say they found other TVs that do support G Sync right here. So, yes, and support it. You see that right here. And say report it by blah blah blah, and also able to be um the the, the two TV that support it. So, uh yeah, my TV literally support uh G Sync, and I was really happy that this TV literally support uh G Sync. So if I want to look this TV up and go back up, can it still be finished unloading? Let me see. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay, right here. So, um, the price. If you want to know how much this costs, this would cost you probably, um eight hundred and something dollars. And you go right here, right here, and look my up, right here. You go to Amazon right now, 
and you can look the price up right here so i guess this take you straight to um this now because last week it was taking me to uh amazon.com and i guess they decided to change it up so um you can look for the price however you want but this is a really good tv for you to pick out for 2020 if you want to get the tv this is all the specs that you can see right here. It is 180 20 hertz, so that is a good thing. And you can see full specs on here, and you really want to see the full specs of this. This is all the HDR formats right there. For HDI.2.0, no, 2.1, not 2.0 inside. So, please forgive me. So, right here. You get three USB, one, two in the wheel, and one on the back. So, uh, 40 watts uh, spoon uh, with, uh, with something. With, uh, gee, I study on that. <laughs> with uh, sound. So, stay tuned on the next episode. Peace.